Hello, good evening. Hola, teacher. Le saluda Silvia. Can you hear me? Eh, yes. Deme unos, deme unos segunditos. Solo me voy a medio cambiar porque vengo mojada. Porfa. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Rebecca, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. I wasn't able to hear you before. All right, let's see, just a second. Okay. How are you today? I'm fine. <laughs> How was your weekend? Relax. <laughs> Relax. Uh, what did you do special? Mm. Did, you do, did you do anything special? No. Yes. Did you work during the week? <laughs> did you work during the weekend? Did you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, did you work to, during the weekend? Ezequiel le dijo. Hmm? Ezequiel. Hello? Hello, Ezequiel, how are you? Hey, teacher. Uh, I went to the hospital today. You went to the hospital. What happened? I was coming. But are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, we want you to be okay. It's nothing serious, huh? No, oh, teacher. It's not serious. Okay. Kids, because health is something that we have to take care of it. No. Okay, very good. And uh, let's see, just a second. I think uh, there we go. Okay. All right, and Esmeralda, how are you today? Hi, Esmeralda, how are you today? She can't hear me. And Maritza Hernandez, how are you today? Um, bad. bad. Very bad. What happened? Bad, bad, or um, bad, good, or bad, bad? Bad, bad. <laughs> okay, what happened? Tell me. Uh, I'm sick. Oh, you're um, sick. You sound sick. Do you have, uh, yes. do you have and fever? My eyes. Um, what is, no sé cómo se dice. Me duelen mis ojos. No yes. encuentro mis lentes. Entonces, okay. no sé a dónde los extraviaba. Entonces, estoy... <laughs> eso. Oh, okay. Y el But suyo. Okay, but it's not because of the, uh, the fever or flu or something like that. It doesn't. It hurts because you no, don't no. have your glasses on. <laughs> okay, well, well, it's good to know that uh, it's because of your glasses. Well done. I hope you you find your glasses. And um, let's see, Lady Chicas, how are you today? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. All right. And how it's was? Excellent. 
Okay. <laughs> How was your weekend? Um, algo pesadita, pero so what? nice. <laughs> what happened? Did you have to work? Um, did, did sí, you have to... <laughs> oh, Okay, but did you have to work? Tuviste que trabajar? Yes. Okay. So you work uh, Saturday and Sunday? Um, únicamente Saturday. Sunday, descanso. Okay, yes. so Saturday was half day or the whole day? Mm, no le escuché, perdón. Puede Saturday, repetir, por favor. Yes, Saturday was, uh, you worked only half day? Or the whole day? Okay, so it was a half day. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. All right. And we have uh, Silvia Hernandez. How are you today? Silvia, can you hear me? Dice que su inter está fallando. Oh, okay, okay. Let me see. Oh, oh she sent a message on the chat. Huh? Let's see, teacher. Le escucho entrecortado. Creo que es mi inter. Está viendo aquí donde vivo. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see. But uh, you guys can hear me well. ¿Ustedes me pueden escuchar bien? ¿O no? Yo sí. Okay. Okay. Yo también, teacher. Ok, thank you. Eso es lo, lo que necesitamos. Si, si nos están escuchando bien o solo es uh, Silvia que me escucha cortado. Ok, and, uh, I'm sorry. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing fine, thank you for asking. I'm fine. All right, and now I can hear you, Silvia very clearly sí. all right and it's raining yes. it's raining está lloviendo donde estás tú yes okay over here too it's raining it's raining it's pouring está lloviendo cantaradas pero yes we can uh, we're gonna manage to finish the class probably and um uh, michelle oviedo how are you today Hi teacher, fine, and you? I'm doing fine, thank you for asking. And uh, how's the weather where you are? Me permite un segundo, que está reproduciéndose algo. Oh, okay. okay. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. I don't know. <laughs> Estaba reproduciendo un video. Oh, okay. Okay. Eh, not, not a problem. Yes, I was asking uh, eh, how, eh, how are you today? Fine. All right. And how was your weekend? It's uh, funny. Funny. Oh, that's good. Yes. Okay, what did yes. you do? What did you do? Uh, eating, sleep. Okay, so that was funny? Sleep. That was Perdón. funny? Yes, so okay. funny. Funny is chistoso, verdad? Ah, oh. entonces divertido sería... Fun, fun. Fun, okay. fun. F-U-N, fun, yes. Yes, I had a fun weekend. Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Well, welcome to all of you. And Thank you. we are going to start uh, uh, unit two. And we are going to learn a lot of things. Uh, of, um, but, but before we start uh, unit two, we're going to do like a review of uh, what we have learned. And uh, I would like... I would like to ask you if you remember something from last week. Teacher, hace mucho tiempo, yeah. 
<laughs> anybody, anybody uh, can answer this question. What do you remember from last week? What have we learned? Alguno que me diga qué es lo que aprendimos la semana pasada? Anything? Hello. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. es, es, eh, vimos las, los, eh, el, el uso del do, del das, okay. eh, las rutinas laborales. Ok. Eh, los tiempos. All right. Mm -hmm. eh, las oraciones, expresiones de tiempo. Ok. Ay, de eso me acuerdo. All right. Very good, very good. Eh, aprendí. El, el, los accountables, accountables in, eh, now. Uncountable and countable, yes. And uh, how much and how many? Yes. Uh, we learned uh, how to greet. We learned uh, daily activities. We learned uh, time expressions. Remember the time expressions? Never, usually, uh, today, mm -hmm. sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, it's uh, always. Always, we have a time expression. Always was a, a kind of advert uh, frequency, but we say that we can use it as a time expression as well to indicate uh, when something happened. In, uh, um, today, what we're going to be learning is about uh, adverbs of frequency. Um, those are adverbs that tell us uh, something about the, the sentence. And that is what we're going to be learning today. All right. But we, before we um, start the class, uh, let me, uh, let's see. Let me see just a second. We're going to uh, call roll. Let's see who is just a second. Teacher. Yes, ma'am. Esto de cumpleaños. Hmm? Esto de cumpleaños. It's your birthday? El suyo. Oh. Sí, sí. Es my, my daughter. My daughter. Yes, it was her birthday. Her, her uh, 15th, uh, 16th birthday. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So let's happy see. birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you to the teacher. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, let me call roll. Um, Abigail Mejia Mendoza. No. Okay. Addison Guadalupe Marroquín Tovar. Present. Thank you. I have uh, Andrea Amalia Garcia Romero. Present. Thank you. I have uh, Andrea Marie Cruz Cruz. No. Okay, I have uh, Daniela Beatriz Vasquez. Mm. I have uh, Esmeralda Carmen Ayala Beltran. Present teacher. Thank you. I have uh, Gabriela Beatriz Moreno. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Alexis Alfaro Beltran. Okay, I have Jose Ezequiel Guzman. Here, teacher. Thank you. I have uh, Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you. I have uh, Lady Xiomara Chicas Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. I have Maritza Yanira Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. I have uh, Mavy Marfelli Rodriguez. All 
right? Uh, Paola, Stephanie Mejia. No. Y Rafael Gerardo Magaña. Rafael. Paola. Paola. Oh, Paola. Ok. Sí, decía Rafael, no, no se dio la voz como Rafael. Rafael Gerardo. Ok. Ok. Rebeca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Roxana Lisset Vega. No. Ok. I have uh, Sofia Stephanie Portillo. I have uh, Stephanie Michelle. Present teacher. Thank you. I have uh, Wendy Selene Alvarado. Okay. And Emma Gloria Martinez. I have uh, Raquel Beatriz uh, Segura. I have Stephanie Raquel Diaz Gomez. I have Anna Silvia Hernandez Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so let's see. All right, just a second. Voy llegando. Hi, teacher. Silvia Hernandez. Esmeralda. Okay. All right. So let's uh, go ahead and start the class. Uh, I'm going to share the screen with you guys. Let me know if you are able to see it. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. So what we're going to do, uh, we are going to start the learning about uh, adverbs of frequency. That is adverbs of frequency. Okay. And uh, do you have any idea what an adverb of frequency is? Anybody? Cualquiera? Always? Yes, that would be an example, but what is an Always. adverb? Yes, what is an adverb of frequency? They can do many things, right? They can, uh, they can tell us, they can describe uh, a verb, they can describe an adjective, they can describe other adverbs, and also they can describe the whole sentence. And we're gonna go ahead and look at, at the adverbs of frequency in a, in a detail, so you can understand it, uh, you can understand them. And uh, we also, uh, we are going to see some uh, exercises. We're gonna do some exercises, and also we are going to do some practice uh, using them, okay? so. First of all, let's see what adverbs of frequency can do. Um, they, let's see, they can do many things. We already see uh, the word many, so it's accountable. You can do many things uh, in a sentence. We're gonna put in a sentence. in a sentence, okay? They can describe, they can describe, what can they describe? They can describe the adverbs. Also, they can describe uh, um, adjectives. Let's see, adjectives, adjectives. They can describe uh, other, um, like uh, the entire sentence. We said the entire sentence. So 
So that's what they, they can do. They can uh, describe adverbs, adjectives, and the entire sentence. Okay. And what do they tell us? Adverbs of phrase. Yes. ¿Qué significa entire? Toda la oración. Oh. Entire is toda. Okay. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Also, adverbs of frequency tell us. They tell us, o sea, que ellos nos dicen, ¿verdad? How often an action takes place. So that's what they, they tell us. So whenever we read uh, an advert of frequency, we are looking for uh, the information. How often an action take place? For example, let's do an example. For example, for example, I can say the, my dog is always sleepy. My dog is always sleepy. Okay, so the advert, uh, adverb of frequency always is telling me how often that action takes place. And how often that action is taking place, uh, Esmeralda? Sorry, teacher? Yes, how often that action is taking place? Mm. Let me see. Um, get over. Mm. Podría ser. I usually mm. yo pensé, yo la vi bien concentrada, por eso le pregunté, la vi bien concentrada, dije, oh my goodness, se estaba poniendo atención, pero no, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver, um, eh, señorita Silvia Hernández. Dígame la oración que acabamos de escribir nosotros. Uh, ¿Qué me está diciendo el adverb of frequency que estamos usando? El adverb of frequency que estamos usando es always. ¿Qué me dice eso? De lo, que, lo que que es algo que siempre hace el perro o que siempre tiene el perro. Exacto. Describe lo que el perro. Mm -hmm. Is that how often the, an action takes place? Entonces, los adverbs of frequency me está describiendo o, o me está diciendo que esto siempre pasa. My dog is always sleepy. Yeah. Y eso me está diciendo. Vamos a, a ver otra. Let's, uh, let's uh, take a look into uh, another uh, uh, example. We can say our teacher, our teacher, our teacher, let's see, often gives us, often gives us homework. Okay. Our teacher often gives us homework. Now, uh, let's see. Rebecca Aguillon, tell me. What is uh, the other of frequency is telling me? Que a veces, sí, a veces, no deja tareas. No, eso es como, how often, es, 
Eh, a veces sí, a veces no. Yeah? We can say that. Uh, yeah? yeah? Ok. And, uh, vamos a ver. Podemos decir, let's see. Ahora vamos a ver. Michelle. Uh, let's see. What this sentence is telling me. Abigail. Abigail is never, let's see, can never, yes, can never, Abigail can never um, remember, remember her name. Okay. What is a uh, sentence is telling me? Eh, Abigail no puede recordar el nombre o su nombre o el nombre de ella. Su nombre o el nombre de ella, sí, ok. Entonces, es telling me that uh, algo que eh, cero, ¿verdad? No puede recordar absolutamente nada. La razón por la cual, the reason why I'm asking you what is this sentence telling me is because the adverbs of frequency y they mean something, right? But unless we put a percentage to them, then we will be able to say the, how, what is the frequency of that action, see? Because right now, if I ask you, well, what never means, what means never, or what often means, or what always means. So we need a percentage uh, like a, a percentage table that uh, can tell us or where we can uh, get that information from. So I can say, okay, it's a 50%, it's a 70%, it's 80% of the time. So that is the reason I'm asking you that. Um, I'm gonna, I will give you that information uh, in a minute, but before I give you that information, I want to ask you what are some common adverbs of frequency in English that you know? What are some common adverbs of frequency? Adverbs, I'm gonna put adverbs over here. Adverbs of frequency. That you remember. That you remember. Okay. Always. Always, you said? Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Never. Never, you said? Mm -hmm. Usually. Usually, yes. Mm -hmm. Rarely. Seldom. Seldom, okay, seldom. You say rarely? Often. Often, yes, often, yes. Mm -hmm. And more, right? We can put and more, and more, yeah. So that more means that the, there are the more the adverbs of frequency that we are going to be learning about. So in order for me to know what the adverb of frequency is telling me, you know, always, sometime, sometimes, never, usually, seldom, rarely, often, and more. In order for me to know, I have to put the percentage. I can remember them just by placing a percentage next to next to m okay so an easy way to remember an easy way to remember them is uh, placing a percentage placing a percentage 
Okay. So let's see how this one's gonna work. How often do you use something? Is a uh, menudo as you say. Is pero qué me dice eso? No me dice nada. O sea, a hundred percent means que. Si yo digo this is a hundred percent. Always. Yes, it means that uh, something it happens always. Yeah, always. Yeah. Sería, uh, something happens always. O si yo digo 0%, ¿qué quiere decir eso? Never. 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 It happens never. So we have on one side, we have 100%. That means always. And on the other side, we have uh, a 0%. That means never. But between them, between them, we have other adverbs of frequency, right? So we have uh, um, over here, we have almost, almost never. Yeah. Never is never, but almost never. It would be like, um, let's say, what, well, like a 5%. Yeah, almost never will be like a five percent. Okay, and we have another one, the, the one you said, the rarely becomes rarely, rarely, rarely. It will be like, um, let's see, just give me a second. Rarely will be like um, what a uh, ten percent, ten percent. Rarely, you can put the ten percent right over here. So this is our table that we are creating. Our table, so we can talk. Uh, we can uh, find out what the advert of frequency means to me. Okay. Above rarely, we have uh, seldom. Have you ever heard about seldom? Seldom. Or besides seldom, we have not very often. Not very often. Mm. Not very often or seldom. So that we can say that is uh, what 20% uh, of the time. It would be 20%. The frequency would be like a 20%. Of course, you're gonna find the uh, different tables, but for the, our the educational purposes, we are giving out this uh, percentage to each uh, advert of frequency. Now, we have uh, another one that is uh, sometimes, sometimes. And this sometimes, we're gonna give it a 50%. I'm gonna give it 50% of the frequency. Above sometimes we have like um, usually and also often, usually. And we're gonna put often. And that my friends is going to be like, um, what? 80%, let's give it 80%, 70 or 80%. Okay. Second, 80%. Just a second, let's see. Now, above 80%, we have almost, almost always. So if always means 100%, what do you think uh, almost always means? So if uh, always means 100%, what do you think almost always means? 
almost always, casi siempre. So let's give it uh, 95 percent. Is that okay? Yeah, 95 percent. So that would be our table that we're going to be using. 100 percent uh, means always. 95 percent uh, means uh, means uh, almost always. 80 percent uh, means usually or often. 50 percent will be sometimes. 20% uh, will be seldom or not very often. And 10% rarely, 5% will be almost never, and 0% will be never. Are we okay with that? Yes. Are we okay? Yes. Okay, thank you, Rebecca. Okay, now let's look at the sentences. We have, there are three sentences, pattern. What is a pattern, uh, Emma? Que es un patrón? No lo escuché, Emma. Parece que tiene apagado el micrófono. No. No escucho nada. Okay, let's try to uh, with Paola, Stephanie. What is a pattern, Paola? Para usted, ¿qué es un pattern? Es un, ¿Qué es un patrón? Es, es como una, por ejemplo, en las oraciones, como, eh, como la base a seguir al formar okay. una oración. Sí, son como, como, sí, son como patrones que nosotros tenemos que seguir, ¿verdad? Uh, there are three. Three patterns que vamos a ver ahorita. Okay, so let me see. Ya puedo borrar esto. Sí. Yes. Okay. okay, we're gonna say that there are three. We're gonna say that there are three. Sentences, sentences, pattern, pattern, patterns. There are three sentences, three, sorry, sentences, patterns uh, of adverbs of frequency. And we're going to be looking into it. Okay, so the first one, the first one is when we use the verb to be. Verb to be plus the adverb. That would be one pattern that we're gonna be learning of. When we have the verb to be plus the adverb. Um, we can say the Abigail, let's give me, I'm going to give you an example. Abigail is never late for class. Okay, so Abigail is never late for class. So we can look at the pattern and we can match the pattern over here. See, we have the verb to be over here and we have the verb to be over here. And we have the adverb of frequency over here, and I have the adverb of frequency over here. And of course, after that is the uh, complement for the sentence. So this will be the first pattern that you have to learn. And this is, uh, you have to learn it by heart. 
there, there's no other way to be able to understand this. Okay, so the other pattern that we have is the adverb plus verb. Adverb plus verb. Okay, and in this case, um, we're gonna say we usually, do we have the adverb right there? We usually eat lunch in the, um, at work, usually we eat lunch at in the cafeteria. Eat, eat lunch in the cafeteria, cafeteria. Mm. We usually eat lunch in the cafeteria. Okay, so that would be the pattern. We have the adverb of frequency. We have the adverb of frequency over here and we have the verb, which is the main verb is it. We usually eat lunch in the cafeteria. Estamos bien hasta ahí? Are we okay? Are you following me? Yes. Okay, if there's something that the, you are not clear about it, just let me know. Okay, so the third pattern that we're gonna be learning is the one where we have the verb plus the adverb plus a verb. So we have a verb plus the adverb plus another verb. This is the other pattern that we're gonna be uh, looking into it. And in this one, um, let me give you an example. Uh, okay, we're gonna say, Esmeralda, Esmeralda, Esmeralda is uh, always looking at her phone. It's not true, right? It's just an example, okay? I'm not saying that she's looking at her phone, but uh, Esmeralda is always looking at her phone. Can you uh, see the pattern, Michelle Oviedo, in this sentence? Yes, teacher. Yes, so the, the pattern is that the, the advert of frequency is gonna be always between the verb and the adverb in this sentence, in this pattern. It's gonna be always gonna be between the verb and the verb. So, okay. que se las identifique, se los señale. Perdón? Que se los identifique, donde está? No, eh, le, le estoy es diciendo, siempre es gonna, va a estar les, explicando solamente que en este pattern, it's going to be, the adverb is going to be between the two verbs, the main verb and the helping verb. Okay, that's it. Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yes. Okay, now let's, uh, let's see. Um, siempre es, uh, es frío en este... En este cuarto, digamos, ¿cómo dijéramos eso? Siempre es frío, siempre es casi, no, casi siempre es frío en este cuarto, digamos mejor. ¿Cómo dijéramos eso? Yes. It's almost always cold. Okay. It's almost always. It's almost always cold, is it? Yeah. In this quarter. In this room. In this room. Very good. Okay. Solo tenemos un problemita aquí. Ya. Yeah. ¿De qué estamos hablando? It. 
Yes, yes. The it. It, ¿verdad? Entonces necesitamos el it. It is almost always cold in this room. Yeah, that would be the complete sentence. Very good. Good job. Good job. So that is. Um, yes. Eh, allí en it eh, se podría usar contractado. Sí, sí. Como estamos diciendo, it is almost, okay. pero lo podemos usar. It's, yes. Lo podemos usar de esta manera. It's almost always cold in this room. Lo podemos usar así. Okay. Bien. Yeah. Podemos decir que, eh, let's see. Como diríamos que Rafael es uh, Rafael siempre está enfermo. Rafael is always. Is... Sí. Rafael is always. Sí, ok. Ahora digamos que Rafael, eh, eh, deje ver, Rafael eh, está un 80% enfermo. Usually. Un 80%, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, ¿cómo sería la oración? Rafael. Rafael is usually. Ajá, Rafael is usually. Ajá. Sí. Yes, very good. Rafael is usually sick. Yes. Estamos diciendo que un 80% él pasa enfermo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, vamos a ver. Uh, ¿Sí? Y, y en vez, eh, no sé si se puede usar en vez de usually, eh, usually. sometimes. No, porque ese sería el 50%. Usually, sometimes. Sí. El, el oh, sometimes sería un 50%, yo le dije un 80%. Teacher. Señor. Ok. Y utilizar en esa última oración, eh, Rafael, you, usually, usually sí. No, porque va, a, se acuerda de que va después de el verbo to be, el adverb. Esa es la primera, la primera estructura que le dije. Está aquí arriba, vea. Acá. Acá, ¿sí? Dice verb to be plus adverb. Aquí tenemos verb to be plus adverb. Entonces no se puede decir Rafael usually is sick. No sería erróneo decir así. Por la estructura. Sure. Yes, sir. Eh, en esa última oración sería lo mismo indicar que Rafael is Offense. Sí, eso sí es válido. Sí, Rafael, Rafael, perdón, Rafael, often, often sick. Yes, porque así lo tenemos en la, en la tabla, ¿verdad? La que hicimos nosotros. ¿Se acuerdan que le dije que ese era para uso de nosotros? Entonces, Rafael is often sick. Yes, uh -huh. porque ese es, el, dijimos que el. Usually, el y often lo íbamos a poner como un 80%, la frecuencia. Entonces, sí, ahí eso es, es válido. Sí. Okay, thank you. ok, so vamos a decir que un 10% nuestros compañeros o nuestros amigos eh, se ríen mucho.
¿Cómo dijéramos eso? Un 10%. Digamos que nuestros amigos, un 10% uh, se ríen mucho. ¿Cómo dijéramos eso? ¿Aló? ¿Me escuchan? ¿Aló? My friends. No. Yes. Okay, my friends. My friends. Re, re. Rarely. 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 Uh, how, how, do, how do you say it? Love. 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 Uh -huh. Love. Love. Hello. A lot. Yes. A lot. Very Hello. good. Excelente. My friends rarely love a lot. Y ahí le podemos cambiar, ¿verdad? Si queremos rarely o queremos uh, always o sometimes le cambiamos el, el, el verbo. Yeah, my friends uh, rarely love a lot. Okay. Está muy bien. Entonces esa es la segunda, la segunda estructura, ¿verdad? Donde va el adverb y el verb. ¿Cuál es el verb ahí? Reír. Laugh. 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 Ese sería el verbo. Y el adverb sería el rarry. Ok, vamos a ver. Um, alguien está de Santana, ¿verdad? Yo creo que Santana es la abogada. Vamos a, a decir que raramente llueve en, uh, en verano en, uh, en Santana. O que estuviera diciendo la abogada, raramente llueve en, en, en verano en mi eh, hometown. O sea, en mi en mi lugar, pues, hometown, donde ella es. ¿Cómo dijera ello? ¿Esa de ella? ¿Ella? Se podría usar el, la, el adverbio anterior. Sí, raramente llueve en verano en mi, en mi lugar de origen. Lugar de origen. De donde ella es. ¿Podría poner ciudad ahí? Sí. Sí, podemos poner ciudad, sí. Pero la palabra que anda buscando yo es hometown. ¿Puede ser teacher? It's rarely. Hello. It's teacher. It's. Uh -huh. Teacher. It's. Sí. Podría ser rarely rain in my town. Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Rarely rain in my town. Rain in my town. My home. Oh. Es de donde ella hometown. es. Hometown. Hometown, yes. Bien. Ok, ¿qué le podemos, ar ¿qué le podemos arreglar a esta, a esta oración, uh, Michelle Oviedo? El verbo. Sí, el verbo. ¿Qué pasa con el verbo? El verbo de eh, le podemos poner it 
Kids o Kids? No. No. Summer. Yes. Ah, well, sí. Eh, yes. It rarely rain in, in summer. Dijimos, ¿verdad? Yes. In summer. Summer. In my hometown. Eso es lo que dijimos. Okay. Pero aquí el verbo, ¿cuál es el problema del verbo de escribirlo así? Este verbo. Hay que agregar la S por la tercera persona que estamos hablando de it. Exacto. Yes. Tenemos que poner la S porque estamos hablando de tercera persona. It. It rains. Entonces decía, it rarely rains in summer in my hometown. Very good. Eso sería, ahí estaría, estaríamos bien. La oración estaría bien escrita de esa forma. Y, ¿Quién vive en Quesaltepeque? Está aquí la que vive en Quesaltepeque. Yo. Ok, ahí hay muchos pajaritos. Cuando voy a la toma de que salte, yo oigo muchos pajaritos. ¿ya? Entonces, uh, quiero que me diga que a, a veces usted puede oír uh, pájaros en su, en su uh, uh, jardín de atrás de su casa. ¿No? Entonces, ayudémosle. ¿Cómo se dice? Permítame. ¿Sí? Oh, ok. Escuchar una pregunta. Sí. ¿Y esa reigns está funcionando como verbo entonces? ¿O, sí. Este es, este es reigns, es el verbo de la oración. Llover. Este solamente es el adverb. Si le quitamos este aquí, si sí dice it rains. ¿Sí? Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces el adverb, solo lo que está haciendo el adverb ahí es uh, telling us uh, how, what is the frequency of that uh, action of raining. Eso es lo que está diciendo el, el el adverb ahí, rarely rains in summer in my hometown. Y Cher me dijo, a veces escucho pájaros en mi jardín de atrás de mi casa, así. Sí, el 50% puedo escuchar pájaros en el jardín de atrás de mi casa. So Ay, yo... Perdón. I... Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Uh -huh. I hear or hear. I hear, I hear uh huh. Birds. Birds, uh huh. Birds. Garden is garden. Okay, birds it's garden. My garden. Garden, okay. Behind my house. Behind my house. Okay. And let's see. La el. ¿Cuál era la primera, la primera, la primera estructura que teníamos, teníamos nosotros? Hay tres oraciones, los patterns, ¿verdad? Teníamos tres patterns. ¿Qué, ¿Qué patrón está siguiendo este? ¿Cuál de los tres está siguiendo esta oración? El verbo. Second, second one. The second one. El second one decía que teníamos el adverb plus verb. ¿Dónde está el adverb allí? Al inicio. Al inicio. 
Entonces quiere decir que le sigue el, el verbo, pero este no es un verbo, aquí es un, un pronoun. Entonces no es ese patrón. It's not that uh, pattern. Eh, no iniciaría con el verbo. Is sometimes. Mm, no, tampoco. Es sometimes. Esa ya sería una question. Cuando empieza con el verbo, es una question. Okay. I sometimes. Yes, there we go. Empieza con I, some, times, y ahora viene qué? Yes. Ajá, here. Ahí sí, ahí está haciendo el, el segundo pattern, el segundo patrón. I sometimes hear, y qué es lo que hear? Birds. 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 ¿A dónde los escucha? In my garden. My backyard. Yes. My backyard. El jardín de atrás se llama backyard. El jardín de frente, ¿cómo se llama? Front yard. Yeah. Front yard. Front yard es eh, lo de enfrente, donde tienen su jardín. Le llaman yard, le llaman yard de enfrente. Y el backyard es atrás de su casa. Entonces, en este caso, como dijimos atrás de la casa, eh, I sometimes hear birds in my backyard. Yeah. Entonces, eso es lo que eh, eh, queríamos decir. Escuchábamos uh, pájaros en la yarda de atrás. Ok. Estamos bien hasta ahí, estamos, estamos perfecto. Ahora vamos a ver a um, um, Jonathan. Jonathan, dime que tu mamá siempre te está diciendo, tu mamá 100% te dice qué es lo que tienes que hacer. Tu mother. Mi mamá, no la tuya. My mother. Yes, ok. My mother. My mother, yes. Almost. Almost. Always. Uh, always, I'm sorry. Always. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cómo era la oración, perdón? Mi mamá está siempre diciéndome qué hacer. Vamos a ver Oye, qué pasa. Uh -huh. Always. Uh -huh. My mother is always. Oh, your mother is. Huh? Say. Dijiste es, es, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Say, dijiste. Sería say me. Say, ok. To be. To me. Ok. Sería to be. O to be. Ok, to be. Yes. Ok. Ahí estamos bien. No sé si agregarle después del verbo saying that to be. Usted póngale todo lo que usted quiera. Es su oración, ¿verdad? Después lo vamos a ver nosotros uh, paso a paso. A ver, eh, primero tenemos que eh, find out qué estructura es, qué pattern es. ¿Es el primero, el segundo o el tercero? ¿Ya?
Creo que sí le haría falta. Sería my mother is always saying that to be. No, saying that to be. ¿Él le pongo el period o no? Yes. Ok. Ok, eso es lo que tenemos. La oración quería que mi mamá está siempre diciéndome qué hacer. Esa era la oración. Entonces empezamos con my mother, ¿verdad? El tenemos muy bien, excelente. My mother es... Tenemos el verbo es, luego tenemos el, el always, ¿ya? y tenemos el verbo, que el verbo, eh, tenemos que usar un verbo que eh, me dice, ¿ya? me dice. Entonces, esa es telling, telling me. Entonces, my mother is always telling me, hasta ahí vamos bien. Ahora, ¿qué hacer? ¿Cómo diríamos qué hacer? What I have to do. Perdón. What I have to do. No tengo que hacer, sino que que hacer. What to do. What to do. Yes. Very good. So my mother is always telling me what to do. Ahora, ¿qué patrón es este? El primero, el segundo o el tercero? First one. The first one? Yes. El tercero. El tercero. The first one dice, ¿qué dice el first one? El first one dice que tengo que tener be y el adverb, ¿ok? Muy bien, tengo el be, el verb to be aquí, y tengo el adverb aquí. Pero si sigo, aquí tengo otro verbo. Entonces, como dice la señorita, sería el tercero, donde dice que tengo el verb, plus adverb, plus verb. Entonces, tengo aquí el verb, Plus adverb, plus verb. Sería el tercero. So my mother is always telling me what to do. Very good. ¿Estamos todos ahí? Eh, ¿Pudimos ver eso? ¿Podemos reconocer ya los patrones, más o menos? ¿Sí? Ok. Vamos a ver, vamos a, a, a hacer unos ejercicios, a ver unas prácticas, a ver cómo nos va. Y lo que voy a hacer, I'm going to scramble goes gym to the rarity. Ok, voy a poner este scramble aquí. Y dígame usted cuál es la oración. ¿Qué le falta? Ghost, Jim, to Beverly. Pero nombre. Sí, y. Ok, entonces. He rarely goes to the gym. Yes, entonces sería he rarely goes to the gym. Yes, very good. He rarely goes to the gym. Very good. Okay, let's see this one. Her. Oh, let's see. Name. Sure. Yes, ma'am. En esa oración, en anterior, se puede decir, he goes rarely go to the gym. He goes rarely? ¿Qué patrón es usando ahí? Ver los adverbs. O ese patrón es solo cuando es con el verbo be. El verbo be, yes. Ajá. El verbo be, porque el otro patrón es el adverb plus verb. Por eso que aquí tenemos el uh, adverb plus el verb. Y se está goes porque es tercera persona, third person singular. ¿Ya? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Let's try this one. 
Let's try this out. What is the teacher? I can remember her name. Her name. I can. I can remember her name. Her name. Yes, I can remember Teacher. her name. Teacher. Okay. Where is the adverb of frequency in that sentence? ¿Dónde lo podemos colocar? Ahí, Ese, esa iba a ser la pregunta. Entonces, uh -huh. I can remember her name. Ahora, aquí no está el adverb of frequency. Ahora, ¿dónde lo vamos a colocar? Antes del que. ¿Mm? Antes. Okay. Aquí. Después del verbo. Después del pronombre. Después del pronombre. Después del verbo. ¿Cuál verbo? Después, después de qué. Ok. ¿Qué si le borramos este aquí? ¿Dónde lo pondríamos? Entre I y remember. Después okay. de pronombres. There we go. Ajá. Lo pondríamos adverb plus verb, ¿verdad? Yeah. I rarely. Entonces te diría aquí, I rarely remember her name. Ahora, I can rarely remember her name. ¿Se acuerdan de la oración que hicimos anteriormente donde decía, a veces... Uh, um, Puedo a veces eh, escuchar pájaros en mi backyard. ¿Se acuerda? Esa era la, la estructura que tenía. I can, dijeron ustedes que decía, I can sometimes hear birds in my backyard. Eso es lo que me dijeron ustedes. Entonces ahí va el can. Lo estamos usando como un auxiliar, el can. No como verbo. Entonces el adverb siempre va en medio de eso, de, de ese, de el, el can y el remember. Ok. Por eso es que esta es una tricky one. Para ver cómo lo hacíamos. Ahora. Um, vamos a ver cómo nos va aquí. Sing. Sería shower. Más o menos van sabiendo que es always. Always. Almost. I in the in the what would be the uh, the sentence I almost always sing I almost always uh-huh the shower. Sing. The shower. The shower. Okay. Estamos bien ahí? Rebeca, estamos bien ahí? No? Mm, yes. Sí. Ha faltado in the. In. The, sí. In the, in the shower. In the I the almost, shower. always, always, always. Aquí no faltó la A. Always sing in the shower. Very good. Nos faltaba el in. The preposition in. Oh, I almost always sing in the shower. And what is the structure of this one? The first one or the second one? Second. The second one, adverb plus verb, yes. Okay, let's see, always, eh, always, what can we say, always, okay, are they laughing? 
laughing. Always are they laughing. They are always laughing. Okay. Uh, first, second, or third pattern? Third pattern. Third? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, they are always laughing. Yes, uh, verb are always plus laughing. Over third pattern. Very good. Almost is never early, she. Almost is never early, she. Ah, Chile, vamos a poner Rebecca. Rebecca, yes. Rebecca mm -hmm. is, al is almost never early. Almost never early. Está bien esto así? Sería Rebecca almost never is early. No. No, because almost never is the word. Almost never, ¿verdad? Sería el 5%. So Rebecca is almost never early. Rebecca is almost never early. Esa sería la, la forma correcta. Rebecca is almost never early. Okay, what about this one? Snow, snow, yeah, snows. It rarely, rarely, eh, la unión in, mm. rarely, le vamos a poner never, ¿verdad? <laughs> mejor never, rarely es como que never, yeah. Los que saben se divierten. Cómo cambiar cualquiera. Ok. Snows, it never la unión. En. It never snow la unión. It never snows. Snows la unión. La unión. En la unión. In the... Yes, there we go. See, sí, no, no te dejan, no te dejan hacer un error aquí. In la unión. Yes. Very good. Ya lo tenemos. Yo creo que ya lo tenemos eso. Ya, ya lo entendimos bien. Vamos a ver la última. Night at my tea, 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 teeth, teeth. Brush. Always, I. Okay. I always brush my teeth. Um, teeth. Uh -huh. at, at, night. at night. At night. Very good. At night. Yes. I always brush my teeth at night. That's it. I think we got it. We got it all. We got everything uh, correctly. And uh, we were able to identify the uh, uh, three patterns. Que es lo que quería que aprendieran. Those three patterns. And uh, we place a percentage to each uh, advert of frequency. Para poder entender que es lo que quiere decir. Uh, so, so we can understand the we could understood what uh, each uh, advert of frequency means in the sentence. Yeah. Without that percentage, it would not be possible for us to be able to tell what the advert means. Sin, uh, sin el porcentaje, no fuera posible para nosotros saber 
qué es lo que el adverbio quiere decir en una oración. Porque ya si le ponemos often, ¿qué es often? Puede ser para alguien, puede ser un 30%, para alguien puede ser un 80%, para alguien puede ser un 70%, un 60%. Pero si le hacemos esa, ese porcentage, ya nosotros hablamos, decimos, ok, often means 80%. Y ya sabemos que eso quiere decir, ya, para nosotros. Ok. So, any question? No. Okay, let me, uh, let's go to the book. Uh, ya imprimieron el libro. Did you print it? The book? Not yet, teacher. Not yet. Nadie lo ha impreso. No, nadie lo tiene impreso todavía. Not Okay, let's see. Let's see, I think I get, I get a copy of it here. Let's see, just a second. One second. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I have it. Okay, one second. Okay, we have a dialogue over here where uh, we're gonna see uh, adverts of frequency. Now that we understand them, we are we will be able to um, read the, the dialogue and know what the dialogue is about let's see just a second so i can be at the right place before i share the screen with you guys okay let's see let me share the screen with you and can you see the dialogue now Yes. Okay, so it says it's unit two, and it says that the, I will be able to, so you will be able to say how frequently um, you do an activity in the workplace. So, después de esta práctica, usted va a, ser, va a poder decir con cuánta frecuencia usted hace la, una actividad en su trabajo. Por ejemplo, I always uh, my, check my emails in the morning. I seldom, yes, I seldom check emails in the afternoon. Um, I sometimes eat lunch at the cafeteria, at the, at work, at the work cafeteria. So, um, así es como va a poder usted ya decir después de que ha aprendido esto. And um, uh, let's start. How often do you check your email at work, uh, Rebecca? Always. Always. And how often do you attend uh, meetings? Mm. Uh, usually. I usually attend meetings. Yes. Y eso sería un 80%, ¿verdad? 80%. Yes. Oh, okay. Very good. Excellent. And uh, Jose Ezequiel, how often do you check your email at work? Always, teacher. Always. And how often do you attend meetings? Rarely. Rarely. Okay. I rarely attend meetings. So, entonces, ¿qué palabra usamos nosotros para preguntar la frecuencia? Es how often. Esa es la palabra que vamos a usar. Es la que siempre se usa. No podemos decir how always o how never o how rarely. No. Es often. Esa es lo, la frequency que vamos a usar. How often do you? Y luego hace la pregunta. How often do you? Esa es la estructura que vamos a usar. Emma, how often do you check your email at work? Never. Never. Okay. I never check my emails at work. 
teacher and how often do you attend meetings? Rarely. Rarely? Okay, un 80%, right? Okay, very good. And Abigail, how often do you check your email at work? Always. Always, very good. And how often do you attend meetings? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. No, that means yes. it's 50%, right? Very good. Excellent. And Esmeralda, how often do you check your email at work? Never, teacher. Never and never. Never and never. Okay. And how often never, do you attend never, never. meetings? <laughs> never, never means never. Okay. How often do you attend meetings? Rarely. Rarely. Okay. Very good. Yes. Okay, Michelle Oviedo, how often do you check your email? Sometimes. Sometimes, very good. And how often do you attend meetings? Often. Often, very good. Uh, Raquel Segura, how often do you check your email? Always. And how often do you attend meetings? Mm, never. Never, very good. And Silvia Hernandez, how often do you check your email at work? Always. Always, and how often do you attend meetings? Yes. How often do you attend meetings? I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Hey, la how often preguntamos nosotros para saber la frecuencia de esa actividad. En este caso le digo, how often do you attend meetings? ¿Con qué frecuencia tú asistes a eh, reuniones? Always. Always. So you're going to say always. Very good. Excelente. Ok. Let's see. Entonces tenemos aquí este, uh, this conversation is between John and Anne. La conversation is going to uh, give us the opportunity to practice uh, uh, ad adverse frequency. How often? Often, usually, and always. So let me read it for you. And then um, we're going to practice in a group or one to one. Uh, John says, how often do you check your emails? Uh, Anna responds, every two hours. That is the frequency, every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week. Once a week is the frequency. On Monday, but... I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Le pregunta Anna. Y él le dice, yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it so important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Okay. Ese es el diálogo que vamos a leer. ¿Hay alguna palabra que usted no haya entendido o que la pronunciación no la haya escuchado bien? Todo está bien. Ok. Very good. Entonces, vamos a empezar con Esmeralda y Michelle Oviedo, please. Ok. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you do? Well, I try to shut it as often as I can. And how often do you call your queens? I often call the ones I wait on the Monday, but I usually call them on the Friday to check they order. Do you call clients? 
Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. No le contestó, Michelle. I'm sorry, I, I can see. Oh, you can see. Oh my goodness. Okay, what about there? You are right. You are right. Very good, excellent. Now let's switch places. Now two, it is uh, John and uh, Esmeralda is Anne. How often do you check? Do you check your email? Every two her and you. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you? Call clients. Yes, I always can the first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with the all the time. You are right. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Excellent. Good job. Okay, let's uh, let's have um, uh, Raquel Segura and uh, Abigail Me Mejia, please. How often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but usually call team on Friday to check the ear order did you call client yes client yes i always call thing to first thing in the morning i believe it is important to have contact with them all the time you are right change Okay, please uh, switch. Por favor, me apagan los micrófonos si no está participando. Okay. Eh. Oh, es, es. Raquel Segura tiene las noticias o algo puesto. Hola, 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 hola. Sí. Le puede decir que le bajen, por favor. Ahorita. Ya. Yeah. Ok, ok, please continue. Thank you. Iniciamos nuevamente. Sí, ajá. Y van a switch, yes. Ok, ok. okay, okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often I scan. And how often do you call your clients? Clients, clients. Client, clients. I often call, no, I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually come then on Friday to check they order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call the first time in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact quite team at the time. You are right. Very good, excellent, good job. Good job, uh, uh, 
Raquel and Abigail. Now let me hear Sylvia and Rebecca. Sylvia Hernandez. Okay, teacher. Yes, can I hear you please? And Rebecca. How, how, Rebecca Aguillon. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check is uh, often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? Clients. Clients. Mm -hmm. I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. Always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. All right. Okay, now let's switch, please. How often do you check your emails? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them 11 a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Clients. Yes, I clients. Mm -hmm. Yes. Too. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Good job. Thank you very much. Now can I have Jose Ezequiel and Paola Stephanie, please? Of course, of course, teacher. Thank you. How often do you check your email? Lo puede bajar un poquito, teacher, que no alcanza a verlo de arriba. Okay, no hay problema, tranquilo. Sí. Un chipustillo nada más, solo para sí, verlo. Ahí. Thank you, ahí, ahí está más okay. mejor. Okay. Eh, Podría comenzar otra vez, compañera. How often eh, do you Paola. check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them. First thing in the morning, I believe it is important to have contact with them uh, all the time. All right. Okay. Okay. Very How good. Now let's switch. Let's switch places, please. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call your clients? Yes. Your clients? Yes, I always call them for things, for things in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are Very right. good. Very good. Good job. Outstanding. Outstanding. Very good. Uh, let me have uh, Jonathan Alfonso and Lady Chicas, please. Ladies first. Yes. How often do you check your emails? 
every two hours on you? Well, I try to check it is as often as I can. And um, how often do you call your client? Clients? Clients, yes. I often call them once a week on Monday, but usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is um, important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, let's switch place, please. places. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on the Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Clients, yes. yes. Clients. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right. Yes, remember that you, you are right. Okay, very good, excellent. Uh, a good job uh, to, um, to Michelle. Good job to Esmeralda, Silvia Hernandez, Rebecca Guillón, Raquel Segura, Abigail Mejia, Jose Ezequiel, Paola Stephanie, Jonathan Alfonso y Lady Chica. Very good. Excelente. Uh, el resto no los veo, uh, no tienen la cámara encendida. No sé si están ahí o no están. Y vamos a seguir con la práctica. Pero esta vez vamos a contestar these questions. Discuss the answer to the questions below. Tenemos dos preguntas. How often does Anne check her email? And the other one is why is it important to check the email every day. Esas son las dos preguntas que vamos a, a contestar basado en, en esto. Ok. Ahora díganme ustedes, how often does Anne check her email? Two hours. Every two hours. Every two hours. Sí. Aquí dice every two hours, right? Once a week, uh, uh, but every two hours. And why it is important to uh, check the email every day? It is important to have contact with them all the time. Yes, uh-huh. Es lo que dice ahí, ¿verdad? It's important to have contact with them all the time, yes. It's important because uh, if you don't know what the client wants, then you're not in business. Yeah, they go to somebody else's business because you didn't pay attention to them. Okay, now let's take a look. At, let's take a look into this table, and this is a different way of looking at the frequencies of advert, adverts of frequency, and uh, use frequency adverts to say how frequently an activity happens. Yes, eso ya lo, lo aprendimos nosotros. Y aquí nos dice que eh, tenemos el 100% always y el never lo tenemos a el 0%. Y nos dan unos ejemplos aquí. Y vamos a ver quién me puede ayudar aquí con esto. Eh, si puedo tener a um, Jonathan le, y me puede leer las oraciones de estos uh, adverse of frequency, por favor. Empezando con always. Yes, always get up. I, I always. I always uh -huh. get up yeah. at five o'clock. Okay. He usually drives to work. Okay. She normally checks her email. Mm -hmm. I often have breakfast, breakfast. At work. 
Ok. Esa, esa, es... perdón, perdón, Jonathan. Ese uh, breakfast, no es breakfast, ¿verdad? Sino que es breakfast. Como que le, le borramos la E, esta E que está aquí, no está ahí, es, es como muda. Entonces se lee breakfast. Ok. Breakfast. Breakfast, yes. Uh, she, she sometimes use the, the microwave. Microwave. Pero microwave. El, sí, el verbo no me lo está leyendo bien, Jonathan. Uh, uses. Uses, yes. Uh -huh. Lea la otra vez la oración. She, she sometimes uses the microwave. Very good. Mm -hmm. Keep going, please. I occasionally. Occasionally. Occasionally work overtime. Yes. Yeah. What is overtime, Jonathan? Mm, Tiempo extra. I don't remember. Tiempo extra. Por ejemplo, okay. si yo, usted dice, I work overtime. Trabajo, tiempo extra. Okay. 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 Keep going, please. Thank you. We seldom take calls at work. Very good. At work. At work. Mm, at work, yes. He rarely has conference, conference. Confer conferences. Conferences. Mm -hmm. Very good. I never get late to work. Very good, Jonathan. Good job. Excelente. Good job. ¿Alguien más quiere practicar leyendo estas oraciones? Anybody wants to practice uh, reading these uh, sentences? No? Okay. Let me try it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, um, Jose, please. I always get up at uh, five o'clock. He usually drives to work. She normally checks her email. I, of, I often have breakfast at work. Okay. She sometimes uses the microwave. Sometimes, is it? Uh, sometimes, okay. I occasionally work overtime. We seldom take calls at work. Okay. He rarely has conferences. I never get late to work. Okay, very good, excellent. Good job, bro. Jose. Excellent, excellent reading. Very good. Thank you, Jonathan and, uh, and Jose for the reading. Okay, let me call roll again and see who is still logged in. Just a second so I can. Let's see. Okay. Abigail uh, Mejia Mendoza. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Alison Guadalupe Marroquín Tobar. Present. Thank you. Andrea Amalia Garcia Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Maria Cruz. Present. Thank you. Andrea, y no me participó, ¿verdad? Sí, arme una oración de los pájaros en la toma. No, en la lectura no me participó. Pero aquí estoy, no me funciona la cámara ahorita. Mm, ok. Daniela Beatriz Vázquez, Ángel. Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala Beltrán. Present teacher. Thank you. Tampoco me participó. En la lectura anterior, sí, teacher. 
Eh, Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala Beltrán. Esmeralda con Michelle, ¿sí? Yes. Sí. Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Es otra persona. Ok. Eh, Gabriela Beatriz Moreno Ventura. Present. Gabriela, Gabriela. Que ver. Usted sí no me participó. Gabriela. Ok. Uh, Jonathan Alexis Alfaro Beltrán. Present. Jonathan sí me participó dos veces. Eh, José Ezequiel Guzmán. Presente, teacher. Yes, dos veces. Thank you. En uh, Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Present, teacher. Kenia, Kenia, Kenia no me participó. En la lectura no, pero si quiere la puedo decir con Andrea. Ok, mm, vamos a ver si tenemos tiempo. Very good. Eh, ah, Andrea, Andrea, Andrea. Andrea no participó tampoco, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, sí, Lady. Pero en la lectura. Sí. ¿Me participó, Andrea? Sí, armé una oración con los pájaros en el patio trasero. Sí, pero en la lectura no me participó, ¿verdad? Se me fue. Tenía apagada la cámara. Pero porque no nos toma en cuenta, aunque no tengamos la cámara en esta ocasión, a mí no me funciona. Pero no es el, no significa que no esté acá. Sí, entonces lo que lo que necesito, porque el, el trato es que usted va a tener la cámara encendida las dos horas. Y si yo no la veo encendida, no sé si está ahí o no está ahí. No está ahí. Entonces avíseme, teacher, aquí estoy. Aquí estoy. Cuando esté llamando a las personas para su participación. Ok, así. Sí, yo, yo incluso estaba esperando que me dijera porque como los estaba llamando usted, así los, como. Los que tienen la, sí, los que tienen la cámara prendida. Wow. Ajá, no entonces, sabía. si la, ok. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Yes, present teacher. Thank you. And uh, Lady Xiamara Chicas. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Maritza Yanira Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Maybe Marvel Rodríguez. ¿No está? Ok, Paola Stephanie Mejía Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Gerardo Magaña. No, ok. Rebeca Guadalupe Guillón Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Mm, Rebeca Guadalupe. Sí, con Silvia Hernández, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Roxana Lisette Vega Campos. Uh, Sofía Stephanie Portillo. Mucha lluvia hoy. Uh, Stephanie Michelle Oviero Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you, Stephanie Michelle Oviero. Stephanie. Usted es Paola Stephanie, ¿no? ¿Verdad? No, yo soy. No, I am Michelle Oviedo. No me participó. Michelle yes. Oviedo con Esmeralda. Yes. Yes. Michelle Oviedo, sí. Ok. Y Wendy Selenia Al Álvaro. Alvarado. No. Ok. Very good. Ok. Just a second. Teacher, no me mencionó a mí. Aquí estoy. ¿Cuál es su nombre, perdón? Raquel. Ra pero Raquel, de, de Raquel, que también sabe. No sea mala Raquel, ¿verdad? Raquelita. Sí. Ok, permítame. Raquel, Raquel. ¿Cuál es su primer nombre, Raquel? Raquel, segura. Sí, Raquel, Beatriz, segura. Las dos veces no me contestó. Okay. No, pero aquí está. Eh, es más, ahorita no, no lo escuché. Oh, ok. Por eso me quedé ahí esperando. Ajá. Sí, posiblemente el internet. De, de, déjeme, Emma Gloria Martínez Amaya. Present teacher. Ahí está, sí. Uh -huh. no, no, no me participó tampoco, ¿verdad? Pero tenía la cámara encendida, teacher. Sí. 
el no me en cuenta. El, el teacher. El teacher me tomó. Pero la, la primera vez que la llamé no estaba, ¿verdad? Acaba de llegar. No, es que me estaba fallando el audio. Por sí. eso sí le contestaba, pero no, no sé. No. Es cierto, es cierto. Ok, eh, Stephanie Raquel Díaz. ¿Hay alguien que no lo haya llamado? Si hay alguien, por favor, dígame. En la lista, a mi teacher, Silvia. Perdón, Silvia. Ana, Ana Silvia Hernández. Ok, permítame. Silvia. Ana Silvia Hernández, sí, ya la tengo aquí. Ah, ok. Sí. Le voy a decir, son las personas que no tengo. Uh, Stephanie Raquel Díaz Gómez. Y Wendy Selene Alvarado Méndez. Y Sofía Stephanie Portillo. Roxana Lisette Vega. Rafael Gerardo Megaña. Magaña. May, y maybe Marvel Rodríguez Andrade. Y... Y Daniela Beatriz Vázquez Angel. Esos son los que no tengo aquí. Si es que sí. Creo que la lluvia los está deteniendo. Ok, just a second. Ok, very good. Entonces, uh, hemos llegado a, al final. Acuérdense que hoy le toca... A quedarse, ¿ya saben a quién le toca o le digo a quién le toca? Quedarse. Bueno, lo vamos a decir por caso se me olvidado. Sí, tenemos a, eh, le toca a Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala Beltrán. A ella le toca. Si no está, entonces. Ok, uh, teacher. Ok. Le toca quedarse a alguien más. All right. Y um, please, 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 mantengan la cámara encendida para cuando estemos la participación, porque es importante que usted participe y que practique, practique el inglés. Eh, manténgame la cámara encendida. Y si se va a ir por un ratito, avíseme, teacher. Eh, ya vengo, voy a ir al baño o alguna cosa para yo saber y poder eh, llamarle su nombre. ¿okay? Los que no llamé y tenían la cámara encendida, lo siento mucho. Y mañana I'm going to call you first. All right. Well, si no hay nada más que alguna pregunta o algo, I, I see you tomorrow and uh, only one of you is going to stay uh, for the 10 minutes of uh, um, like, uh, si, si tiene alguna pregunta o algo que no haya quedado claro, okay? Other than that, I see you tomorrow. Have a good night and uh, good night. sleep well, okay? Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Ok, sí, tenemos a Roxana Lizeth Vega Campos y, y maybe Marvel. Y me dejan acá, déjenme apuntar los nombres, ok. Maybe. There are three sentences apart. Mm. Just a second, please. So tell me, dígame, in, hay algo que no le queda claro o algo que que este. Ajá, este, teacher, este, no sé si, si me podría repetir, porque el día de hoy el internet me estuvo fallando, entonces la mayoría de tiempo lo, lo, lo escuché como recortado. Por referente a los, there are three sentences, patterns. Los uh, patterns, los patterns. Yes, yes. Ok, sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Tenemos uh, uh, tres patterns, dijimos, voy a borrar esto para no, para no confundirla. Y esas patterns son importantes porque así podemos reconocer nosotros el uso de frecuencia. Uh, three 
there are, dijimos que there are three patterns, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que decimos. Yes. Three sentences and of, uh, of uh, frequency, dijimos of uh, adverse frequency. Mm -hmm. yes. Advert of the first one the first one the humus is it is a verb to be mm -hmm. verb to be plus it's almost an um an adverb and i'm siempre que va a haber un verbo to be después del verbo to be by an adverb Entonces, al menos que haya otro, otro verbo, entonces va en medio de esos dos verbos. Eh, mm -hmm. Y vimos que eh, Silvia, vamos a ver, may, may, maybe, vamos a poner maybe, la, el ejemplo de ella. Maybe is, um, is never, never in class. Yeah. Entonces, aquí, never is el, el adverb to frequency. Y el is sería el, el, el verb to be. Mm -hmm. Ese sería la primer pattern. El segundo pattern, dijimos que era donde uh -huh. va el, el adverb. Uh -huh. Plus el verb. El not. El not. Uh -huh. El verb. Adverb uh -huh. plus verb. Uh -huh. Y uh -huh. decimos, we usually... We usually, usually, usually stay, stay 10 minutes after class. Yeah. Entonces, eh, yeah. usually is an advert. Y el verb is stay. Stay. We, yeah, stay. We usually yes. stay 10 minutes after class. Eso es, uh, usualmente nos quedamos, ¿verdad? 10 yes. minutos después de la clase. Eso sería el la second pattern. Y el third pattern, que es el más fácil, es donde tenemos el verb. El verb. Yes, plus adverb. Adverb. Yes, plus el verb. Sería, este sería el main verb. El main verb. Okay. Main verb, yes. Uh -huh. Main verb. Main verb, sí. Y ese es donde uh, dijimos que eh, poníamos uh, you are always looking at your phone o you you are mm -hmm. always uh, you are always you are always studying uh, studying 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 English. Mm. You are always studying English. In este caso, el verb sería el are. Are. Always sería el adverb. Y el studying sería el main verb the main de la oración. Verb. Entonces, mm -hmm. cuando tenemos ese patrón, lo ponemos en medio de los dos verbos. Del, All right. The verb mm -hmm. to be e, e the main verb que es study. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. esas son las. Mm -hmm. There to be arms. Okay, teacher. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Entonces voy a intentar hacer lo que es una oración con el verb ver okay. to be más adverb. Okay. Ok, go ahead, please. Uh -huh. Sería, vamos a ver, por ejemplo, Esmeralda. Uh -huh. Quiero ver, Esmeralda is usually, usually in, in, in bed at 10 p.m. Yes. Ah, all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Esmeralda is usually in bed at 10 p.m. Yes. Yeah. All right. Is, it is as a verb and usually is an adverb. 
Ok. Ahora el segundo. El, el adverb must verb. Adverb okay. must verb, yes. Ok. Let me see. Sería. She. She, she never. She uh -huh. never. Um, she never. Como estamos hablando de ella, sería en tercera persona. Sería she never goes. Correct, yes, she never goes. Uh -huh. She never goes in the park. She never goes to the park. Ah, to the park. Yes, to the park. To yes. the park. She never goes to the park. To the park. Mm -hmm. And la tercera, que sería verse, más adverb, más mm -hmm. neighbors. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Sería... Mm, you are okay you are um, sometime 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 um pero ven uh, take a shower. Taking. Uh, taking. See. Sí. A right. shower. Mm -hmm. A shower. Yes. You are sometimes taking a shower. Yes. A shower. Uh huh. In the afternoon. Okay. After noon. After noon. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You are sometimes taking the shower in the afternoon. Afternoon. It's okay. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. You're you're great. Thanks. Very good. And Thanks. I'm sorry for the internet. I'm sorry that it was cutting it off and <laughs> you wouldn't hear that. Okay. So, but uh, yes, you have understood the uh, uh, three structures of the sentence. So, congratulations. Thank All you, right. teacher. All right. Thank you for your time and have a good night. I see you tomorrow in class. See you Bye. tomorrow, teacher. Yeah.